Hi, everybody. Meteorologist Joe Chaffee here. Weather in five, five days and five minutes. And it's Tuesday, the 19th of July. And so it begins. We're going to have a heat wave. And for me, it's got to be five days in a row of 90 degree plus weather. And I'm going to show you the high temperatures, at least for the next four days, uh, where we'll be into the 90s. Uh, as far as how it's going to feel with the humidity, it's going to feel terrible. Uh, I don't really think I need to give you a, a number to make you feel worse than it already is. And also want to put a little footnote there for those of you who actually enjoy heat and humidity. You're going to be in heaven for the next five to seven days. So looking for highs reaching up uh, generally in the lower 90s, maybe some of the few urban hot spots uh, around Newark, say, and LaGuardia uh, could wind up pushing it up to about 93 or 4. Uh, the uh, temperatures for Wednesday are probably going to be a little hotter. Uh, we're talking low and middle 90s, uh, making it up to maybe 94 or 5 around Philadelphia, 95 or 6 around New York City. And we're going to see 90s go, by the way, all the way up uh, in through New England, lower 90s in Boston and across Massachusetts, uh, low and middle 90s across Rhode Island and Connecticut and in the Hudson Valley and lower 90s uh, as you head down into southern Pennsylvania and into Maryland. Thursday, uh, about the same, low and middle 90s again. Now, Thursday's the day where we do have a weather front that's going to be moving through that will probably produce a, uh, a shower or thunderstorm as it goes by. And in fact, there is severe weather risk, which I'll get to in a moment. And then behind the front, maybe a little bit of dew point relief so that the humidity comes down slightly for Friday into Saturday. Saturday Friday's highs will be, again, generally in a range of about 90 to 95. Uh, will uh, perhaps be a, a few degrees cooler as you head up north into upstate New York and into New England, uh, but not really a whole lot to make a big difference. And I think we'll do a repeat performance uh, for Saturday. And again, maybe some slight humidity relief for Friday into Saturday. A lot of sunshine here across the Northeast. We've got some patchy clouds through the mid-Atlantic states helping to hold temperatures down. Same for parts of the Southeast where we're seeing some patchy clouds. And in fact, when we look at the uh, watches and warnings, the first heat advisories are, are up now from uh, Southeastern New England across Southern New England to the Hudson Valley to New York City, Long Island and New Jersey. Again, it's hot, folks. I, mean, I don't know how, how, how much worse I can make it sound. Uh, excessive heat, though, continues in Oklahoma, in Texas, Arkansas, northern Louisiana, northwestern Mississippi, western Tennessee, where temperatures today will probably break over 100 again. And this is going to go on for a while, too, which is not quite. We're not in that big heat ridge that covers uh, that part of the country. We just sort of have a little bit of a breakaway here of uh, ridging here in the eastern part of the United States that's allowing things to uh, warm up the way uh, they are. Now, as far as the severe weather risk that I mentioned for today, uh, we're looking at uh, a risk zone. Actually, that's for tomorrow. Let me go back one more. For today, it's in the western Great Lakes and up into Minnesota, where there's also a 2% tornado risk. For Wednesday, the risk area moves from southwestern New York and western Pennsylvania down into Kentucky and back through Indiana and into Michigan. And on Thursday, uh, there is a slight risk covering all of New England, almost down to about New York City, the marginal risk back to about northern New Jersey. Then there's a bit of a break, and then we get a marginal risk again from southeastern Virginia through north and South Carolina through Georgia back into northeastern Texas with that small area of slight risk that you see uh, across central Mississippi and central Alabama. Rain-wise, not a whole heck of a lot here, folks. Uh, showers and storms are going to be few and far between. We're looking at generally less than a half inch, in fact, even less than a quarter of an inch. The only uh, caveat I'll put in there is that if you get into some of these thunderstorms, they could quickly put down a solid inch plus of rain in a very, very short period of time. But there's nothing that really stands out too much as far as uh, rainfall is concerned. So as we uh, check out the last run of the models from overnight, there's no real revelation here. Uh, we've got a west to northwest wind today, which is taking temperatures up into the 90s. We'll have a west wind tomorrow, just local sea breezes maybe at the beaches. Thursday, we've got this weather front that's going to move on through with some showers and storms that are going to develop late in the afternoon and evening. 
And while it'll still be hot behind it, maybe a little bit less humid, ever so slightly less humid for Friday into Saturday. Then it turns more humid again on Sunday, again in the 90s. And that's when we'll have another cold front with a chance for showers and thunderstorms late in the day, Sunday into Sunday night. And the risk there also for severe weather. And if you want to go longer range uh, into next week, that frontal boundary is going to stall close by. So it's a tough call on temperatures, but suffice to say that uh, it's probably going to remain humid much of the time uh, in through the first part of next week. And if this front does stall out nearby, maybe it'll offer some chances for some shower and thunderstorm activity to uh, bring us uh, more rain, uh, which is uh, much needed. We got uh, plenty of it in places yesterday, but the hot weather of the next five days will dry things out. So we'll have to moisten things up again. Nothing in the tropics to worry about. The tropics look to remain quiet for the next week or so, so we can lay that to rest. And we will have more on this tonight on the Joe and Joe Weather Show at 7.30 Eastern Time. So we hope to see you then.